Bammo, hey everyone, it's been a little while since I've given a tour of my van. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna plug it because it's what I do to make my van life happen. On the go Logo Pro. That's kind of my tagline, that's my business. Um, as you can imagine, I focus on logos and I help businesses with startup. That's what I've been doing for 20 years. Um, I'm opening up my side door. I'm gonna pull out this little lever right down here. I made myself a little either uh, cooking area or um, uh, filet table in the winter time. Uh, sorry about all the hubbub here. Um, and right there we go. So nice little filet table. I have a filet board right inside here. I just gotta pull it out. It's uh, plastic. I got uh, actual bags that I use for shopping, uh, reusable. Filet knives right there. Um, all kept up nice. Door shuts nice. Little shelf right here. Um, as you can see right here, I use a bunch of bungees to hold all my shoes in there. Um, again, it's really easy to actually pull them out, but that's there for whatever. I got this little mini shelf here just to add into the interior space. I have an ottoman here, which that is all hollow. It is like three feet long and it holds like everything from my towels, my pants, my shorts, socks, underwear, all those goodies are in there. I've even got some of my winter gear in there and a pair of winter boots. So, I mean, it's, you know, that's to the hilt filled. As you can see right there, it's a little dark in here, but uh, I have my uh, clothes all right up there. So it's really nice for me to crawl out of bed. We sit in my little office chair, lift open this, grab my essentials, grab my stuff out of there. Uh, one thing that you probably wouldn't realize, but in the winter time, there is actually a heater in the back corner of this van. And the way the air flows is that a lot of it comes out right behind here, which is perfect because if I leave the vehicle running, it actually flows up behind and it gets my clothes warm. And even the uh, underwear and socks that are on this end of the ottoman tend to warm up a little bit because the air only flows all the way around through this area. So um, I will be honest, I didn't intentionally design it that way, but it's happening and I'm not going to complain. It's pretty awesome. As we step in, I got uh, a basic Sterilite right here and a Sterilite right there. Um, I'm probably going to swap out that one and get one at least matches. And then if you come in here, this is my little seat, as you can see. I actually love a moving seat. I have to say, uh, when I'm traveling, I do tip it down so it's on the floor and, I'm, and it's not boss, jostling around back here. But it's nice when I'm in here and I'm working, I'm spinning around, I'm doing my stuff. I can just, you know, do all this stuff. Now, this is my little junk drawer with wiring and different things that I hook up in here. This is my tape drawer, sticky stuff. Got to have all that. And then this is lighting and general tools and kitchen stuff. Inside here, not bread. Uh, just a couple of random things. Shaver, glasses uh, for fishing. Thank you, Vickers Eye Care. I'm still debating on how I'm going to use this. I might use it for actual bread. Whoa. Uh, yeah, garbage. You got it. Top drawer is uh, kitchen utensils. Everything has got uh, Gorilla Tape on it. And then, uh, so anyhow, uh, cooking utensils, bowls, spatulas, all the good stuff. And then this is cleaning supplies, garbage bags, uh, towels. And then underneath here is my, uh, sorry if you can see that or not, but uh, that is my craftsman tools. Everything from uh, impact to, uh, yeah, you get it, they're tools. So anyhow, um, just put up this little bit of cedar wall right here with a little bit of organizers to hold on to my stuff. My computer monitor, my setup, my Rena-G uh, set up for my 1000 watt inverter. Do I wish I would have had a 2000? Kind of yes. But I was trying to be efficient as possible. Um, the bigger the inverter, the more amps it draws just when it's being turned on. So, food for thought. Uh, this is my little uh, table. I do ice fishing and I like to have these batteries charged. This is my charge bank. I'll hook things up through my um, cords. I like to keep them tucked behind there so they look neat and organized. Well, <laughs> need to organize my butt um, uh, once it took for me for to have forget this laptop up here and drive off and for it to slide on the floor and I hear it crash one time now it's got this <laughs> so uh, and from there you can see my bed I got very good cushioning here I've got a little bit of memory foam and a, another mattress um, it is approximately 44 inches wide 
So it's actually a little bit wider than most people think. They're like, oh, there's only room for, you can't fit two up there. My girlfriend and I sleep up there quite a bit. So um, right down here, I got my foot there stopping it. This would come open, that's my hamper. Uh, that is another toolkit for doing uh, graphic installs. There's my emergency poopy bucket. This little tin, uh, <laughs> tin uh, tube right there is for my diesel heater that I have outside the vehicle. We'll go back there in a little bit. So as you can see, there's all this right here, but then in the back, there's still a lot of storage back there. Um, I just got a little clip underneath here. And right down here, tucked away is my pee jug. Yes, sorry. We all know it has to happen. Uh, we'll venture out of here and we'll go into the back. Uh, it's not gonna be a whole lot of lighting, but hopefully the camera will adjust. Right there is my diesel heater. Um, I can put about $2 worth of diesel in there and it'll heat through an entire day. So, I mean, that's really not bad. Uh, you know, I do think it should have a little bit bigger heater. I've got three vents going in. There's one that goes inside to keep it warm during colder months. The exhaust comes out right there. Uh, let's see here. I know there's not a light back here. No light back here. I apologize. But my hamper's way up in there. I still have another great big toolbox right here. I've got some of my ice fishing gear right there. I got two uh, 80 amp hour batteries right there. And I've got another couple of Tupperware bins that I can access from the other side if I need to uh, right now. In the summertime, that all goes away. And I am utilizing both doors and that gets all plugged up. So, yeah. This is my little van life. I hope that gives you kind of a tour. Um, I do have a 290 watt solar panel up here. It's model crystalline. That is actually, it's just run right through the glass. I flex the glass through the tube, through the uh, seal, the rubber seal that's on the doors. And I put the tube through there, or the, the wiring through there and up into the uh, Renogy Wanderer brain box. Yeah, monitor. So that's my little tour. Uh, Graphic design, you got it. That's where it all happens. Oh, I forgot, I forgot. So um, I have access to it right now, but right behind this window, there's actually a bracket in there that has my cooking unit and I've got uh, propane set up so I can either uh, use that in the summertime back there, but now it's gonna probably be used right here along with flaying fish. So, all right, Marty, over and out. Thank you everyone for watching.